Hello, hope you're doing great. Today we are going to talk about inheritance. You're going to learn all about it starting from the early date. But as an example, we are going to use this case. In this king is quite old and he controls seven empires and can control 17 domains. He actually controls only 15. And we are going to see how to transfer them all to just one person. And we are going to do that with confederate partition, that is the partition model that you start with in the early date. If you are interested in this kind of games, I'm sure you do, click in the upper right corner and there you will find a great playlist of Hearts of Iron, it's a super great game from Paddocks. Also I will add one of Europa Universalis, Stellaris and some other great, great games and of course one that is from Crusader Kings. Before going into the tale, there are two special cultures. One is the Czech from the Czech Republic, located between Poland, Italy, Austria, Croatia, that will enable to enact home seniority right from the start because they have a special tradition. And the other special culture is the Basque, located between Spain and France, that will enable to enact high partition right from the start. You may want to try those two cultures if you want, but we are not going to use them right now. Another trick that some people use that I do not recommend is get this trait restrained that will allow you to embrace celibacy that of course makes you that you are not going to have any more kids. Another trick that some people use combined with celibacy that I never use is this inherit that of course in that way you can restrict your number of hairs to just one. On the contrary I prefer to have lots of kids so I can choose the best of them. In this case we are going to get him. He has 31 stewardship and he has the three top traits Herculean, Genius and Beautiful. Once you get a kid with those three traits, you can enact the decision strengthening the bloodline and you will have all your kids as good as that one or close. For example, let's pick another guy, this one, and let's see his traits. He's also beautiful, genius and Arculean are all the kids as basically the same. The, the girls are Amazon, that is basically the, the opposite, but actually the same that Herculean, but in female. So let's start. The first step is that you add a special succession law, succession law to your main title. You should press here, add laws. You will all see this window and you apply the special succession law that correspond to your government to your culture. If you are of a generic culture, you should apply feudal and from the Scandinavian and English you have a special one. Then you apply and you are ready to go. You will see that in your main title or the title that you just apply the law, this ledger icon that means that you have a special succession law for that title. You only need to apply this to one of your main titles. Second, you make that title your primary title. And now you go to your primary title, you click it, then you will see this icon after you enact the special law. And here you will have an election. And we will see this is our, we are going to sort by stewardship. And this is our candidate here, we already vote for him, and he's in place number one, so he's going to be in the next game. But we need to change this for a moment so we can transfer the title to him, because if we right click and try to grant him all our titles, we are not going to be able to transfer all our title because he's our heir and we are going to be restricted on transferring the title. So we need to vote from someone else. So he goes to rank number two. But if we click this one, he's so powerful and so cool 
that he's still in rank number one. It could happen this, so what you need to do is try to pick another empire. I have seven, em this happens when you have several empires. I pick another empire where he's not so famous, probably in this empire he has a duchy, and there I can vote and send him to the second position. To solve that problem, we are going to go to Francia, the second empire, and we are going to make it our primary title, make primary, and here we are going to change the, we are going to sort by stewardship, and here we have our candidate, and in this empire he's not so powerful, so he's now not anymore our main heir, well, he's not our heir, and now we can grant him titles, we are going to do that just right now, grant titles, of course we can give our primary title, but we are going to transfer all the rest, one by one, okay, so I selected all my titles and grant to the future heir, grant titles, is now going to be independent because he's going to be an emperor. And now on my main title I pick him again and he's now my heir but he has all my possessions and now I only control my main title that is now Francia and my capital. Now I'm going to commit seppuku. You can do that by doing something that you're king doesn't like. In this case we are going to execute a lot of people since he's going to suffer stress. As you can see he suffers stress because he's content and we are going to execute a bunch of poor nice people that is going to be a stress problem for our mighty leader, just to be safe. And that should be enough. So let's see. Let's see. Speed up. Damn, he's hard. He's right now 73 and still kicking. And finally died. So let's see if the system works. This is our new kid. 37 level 28 on stewardship, he has 16 domains, so he inherit all the domains, he seems to have all the empire, let's do a quick check, wait, and yes, now the empire is called Hermania, but he has the seven empires under his belt, well, I hope you find this information useful. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, uh, subscribe. I love comments and questions. And thanks a lot for being there. Bye-bye.